if you don't want to miss out any of our uploads all you have to do is just turn on the notification bell and anytime we upload a new video you're going to receive an alert on your phone from youtube assalamu alaikum they used to sit around after Fajr and the companions would talk about things that made Rasul smile and they would laugh about it, entertaining themselves about worldly things, but in a halal way. They used to enjoy conversations, they used to entertain each other. Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim Rahmatullahi Alayhi He says, one of the things I learned about living this life as a mu'min is that I was sitting under a tree one time writing. So Imam Al-Qayyim was very poetic in his words. He said, I was sitting under a tree, this is the poem he's saying, and I saw these two men carrying a log. What were they carrying? A log. And this log was heavy. One man on one side, the other one on the other side. And they were trying to transport this log to another place. Because it was so heavy and, and he could see that they were sweating and it was hot. He found that they were saying poetry to one another. One of them would say a line of poetry and end it with a letter. Then the other person had to start another line of poetry with the same letter he ended. So they were playing a game. A game. And they were entertaining themselves. Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi said, I learned a lesson over here. The way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He is your priority, does not necessarily mean that you avoid and abandon entertaining things of this world. But rather, embrace the entertaining things of this world for, with the right intention. And make it a halal way. A way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. There's nothing wrong with saying poetry and playing a game with ending letters. In order for them to forget about their pain which they were going through and forget about the heat which they were, in, they were uh, going through in order to help them finish their work to move the lot from one place to another and still feel satisfied and happy. Similarly is the case of our deen. If your priority is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then one of the means that help you is to work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in an entertaining form. Nothing wrong with that. Our Rasul sallallahu once sat trying to teach a man about how, how many rak'ahs are in each prayer and how many prayers they are. So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would repeat, Fajr is two prayers, Dhuhr is four rak'ahs, you know, Asr is four, Maghrib is three, Aisha is four. And the man could not memorize them, subhanAllah, he had a bad memory. So a companion entered and he found that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was struggling, really, in trying to take this man to memorize the amount of raka'at and so on. So the man said, Ya Rasulullah, allow me, can I try? So we sat with him and he made what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said in the form of poem, in the form of a poem, it rhymed. And the man memorized it, teaching the deen in an entertaining fashion. You are enjoying it, you're having a laugh, at the same time, you're making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your priority. Why are you doing it? You're doing it to make the deen easier for the people, to bring the deen to the people. And some people, they say, why should I drive to the masjid? Walk to the masjid. Like, ya akhi, it's dhuhr. It's 40 degrees. Still walk? Yes, because for every step that you take, there are 10 hasanat puran, a hasanat puran and a sayyah taken off. Or 10 hasanat puran and 10 off. So you should walk. If, even if it means I'm going to probably uh, not make it there because of the heat, yes. No. Your priority is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it means that, go in your car and go there. Make deen easy for you to practice. Don't make it hard upon you to practice. Less is more sometimes, so long as your intentions are good. So if your priority is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger, then you will be a person who enjoys worship, not one who makes it hard. شم الهم ودموعه